Hi there, and welcome to one of my first videos for Vsum.pro. My name is Samir Verkuyne, and I'm an IT consultant for an IT company called Geops, which is located in Edegem, Belgium. Since I love to help people around and to share my knowledge, I just started out to, creating, uh, to create some IT tutorials, with this being one of the first. So I actually wanted to make a video about uh, virtual machine migration, but before I even started, I noticed that my language settings in my Windows 10 machine were suddenly in Dutch. And that's what this video is about. How can we change the language settings in, uh, in Windows 10? Well, to be honest, this is not really, it's not really an easy task, um, especially not to get it through the whole system. There are several steps that you have to take. And even now when I'm, uh, uh, when I'm recording, I still have some small issues with uh, language settings that are still not correct. And this can be also me, because um, apparently these small last bugs, because that's what they are, uh, are supposed to be fixed by Microsoft updates. Unfortunately, uh, I changed the language uh, settings after uh, I did an upgrade, and therefore I already have one of the latest updates uh, available. So yeah, to fix some bugs, uh, Microsoft always uh, recommends with language settings that you first change your language settings, before you're going to install the updates because a lot of updates do fix those kind of bugs. And yeah, you can also reinstall it and then it also fix the bug again. But yeah, in this weird condition, um, I have the latest updates and some of them cannot be uninstalled because they are seen, of they are seen as a base update. So yeah. Uh, but anyway, I will uh, in, a in a future video, I will go uh, through all the steps uh, once more. But now I'm going to show you at least uh, how you can change your language. So first off, if you bought a laptop or a, a laptop in, uh, in a different uh, language than you actually are used to, uh, you probably don't know where you can find even the language settings. So there's, an, there's an one cool and simple trick. When you click your right mouse on uh, onto the start button, you have to go up six steps. And there you will see the control panel. Well, the control panel is uh, the part where you can change your settings. And even if you have a different language, this setting is the same. It doesn't matter if it's in Spanish, French, German, or whatsoever. It's, uh, it's, it's always the same. So go six steps up, and then you go to the control panel. Then you will see different kind of uh, icons. And well, actually, I'm going to place you here. One second. Thank you. So uh, you see uh, the language icon, which is an, uh, a world globe and an A, and you have the region icon, which is also once again the world globe, only this time with, with a clock around it. And these are the two uh, places where you have to change the settings. Uh, there are also other places, but we'll I will show you that later. So first, click on the language uh, icon. And once again, if you don't understand it, just look at the same uh, symbol. And just for this, I have installed French, just to have, an, uh, to have something uh, to show. Because earlier it was in Dutch, but I already removed it. So what you can do is you have to add a language. And this can be a little bit difficult because you're going to have to search for the language that you want. And for most people, this is English. For me also, actually, because I rather want to have my uh, laptop in English than in Dutch. And the, the sole reason is that I'm an IT guy and <laughs> I want my errors and error codes to be searchable in Google. <laughs> so that's why I uh, rather have it in English than in Dutch because I, I cannot Google it. But not only that, it's, it's, a, it's a, lot of, uh, a lot of way uh, easier. Uh, if I show something to my French colleagues or whatsoever. Um, so, you have to scroll down and find the language that you want. So in this case, English, of course, is still the same in English. And you can choose the different English language. The thing is, if you uh, have it in a different language, they probably doesn't say English, but it says, it says English in that, in that language. So, best way to do this is grab another laptop, Grab uh, Google Translate, uh, if you don't know uh, uh, the word for it, and just look it up so that you can find it back here. So yeah, then um, you're going to install it. Choose one of the English that you want. I always choose the United States, but let's say New Zealand. 
And yeah, now only by double clicking you already have it. You can also remove it again. Uh, in this case, the one that is up front shows your language preference, but it doesn't say that it's going to, well, comply, well, push through all the system. That's not the case. In this case, uh, I, I placed the United States up. And the, if I could recommend, I would remove the rest of the languages. Uh, if you don't want to have a dual language on your system, is that, is that of course. Uh, for me, that's the case. So I remove this one. Uh, I moved up this one. See that you cannot remove this one. The one that's up cannot be removed. So you cannot make a mistake with that. Um, also, fun thing. Once you install a language, you can download. You have to you have to click on the option button, and you can download and install the language pack. This is also what it says: the Windows Display language. For me now, it's actually I thought already part of it. It was in French. Yeah, it was already a little bit in French. So uh, you see it. You see it here. I cannot speak French. I'll be honest with you. So, <laughs> um, but yeah. So you can download and install the language pack, and then it will be placed almost to the whole uh, to the whole system. Uh, but I don't want that, so I will mo remove this also. It it can be that you don't see the download button at the first time. This is possible. Uh, what you have to do is you have to restart your uh, machine after you double clicked it here, and then you can download it. Because you will get a little pop up and it says we're going to make some settings ready for you. And then you can choose which kind of features you want to download in, uh, in your language setting. So your input method and your rant writing. Uh, also even some, if Cortana allows it, you can also download the speech pack so that she understands you in your language. But there are only a few languages that are supported, I thought. So yeah, that's the first one. So if you do this, this is okay. Um, then just uh, click the X button. Over there. And we're back here. Then once again, right mouse click, go six steps up, and then we go to the second part, and that's the region. And this is actually quite important. Um, well, here you, you can change the format. That does not, doesn't necessarily mean your language, but yeah, it's maybe easier for you if you want to do it like that. Um, I actually rather have it in the Dutch conversion, time and formats and everything, but for now I keep it like this. Um, you can also change the location, of course. But here, this is the most important part. This is the third tab, administrative. And actually, if I could recommend, first do the, the first part that I show you, then restart, because then already a lot of it will be in English. Your welcome screen will not be in English, for instance. It it's already says here. Uh, but you can copy the settings. You can also go to this one and say what your current system is. I placed also in English. And here you can see where you can copy the settings to. So you can say, all right, my current language is English. And you can see how it is going to be pushed through. And if you said, okay, it's going to look at your at your current settings. So if your current settings has been in the, in the first place, has been uh, set as English, like what we did in uh, the first one at the language, then you can push through you can push the settings through the other um, settings so like the welcome screen and new users accounts because if you don't select this uh, it probably will say uh, for the new user accounts that they're going to display it again in the old language so let's say that you bought your your laptop in france or france then uh, it will probably will be displayed for a new user back in french again so that's not what you want to have, if, if that's the case. So yeah, this is how you can push it through. And then this way also your welcome screen gets back into English. So that's what you have to do. Uh, I thought it was here. Yeah. Here's also language preferences. That's where I actually say move up. I will move you. And this is really important because now we're back at the language part again. Because if I double click it here, then we're here again. There's one thing that I forgot. You also have the advanced settings. And that's also actually quite um, uh, important. Because here you can say 
override for Windows display language. So it can be that it still shows in your old language. What you do is select the language that you want or use language list. But I also, just to be sure, I place it on the language that I want. And uh, yeah, you can even change the app. You can, for different apps, you can choose a different input uh, method, but I don't think a lot of people will use that. And that's it. Then you got most of it. Then you will probably see, not from me right now, because I still have to reboot it actually. Because it probably shows me a chord. Yeah, it shows still in the French part. That's okay. Um, but yeah, they will show most of it. Uh, but now comes uh, a few yeah weird things. And that's where the bug starts. And that's the only, yeah, that's the last 10% that I haven't solved yet. And if somebody has a suggestion or whatsoever, would be really nice and helpful and, and uh, tell me in the comments below. Um, but yeah, I will show you. If I type the word user in, in uh, English, it will show me actually uh, Dutch results. Because like I said in the beginning, this uh, the language that was set was Dutch. And for some weird reason, it still keeps giving me Dutch results for some settings. Not all, everything, but still quite some settings. Um, in the beginning even, I could not even uh, select the setting. So the weird thing is, like for user, uh, the word Dutch word is uh, gebruikers account. And that's the, the Dutch translation for user. Not completely, but yeah, that's it actually. Um, the weird thing though was that, is, was that I could not even click it. So I can, could not even select it. Now I can do, but uh, before I couldn't. And what you had to do was a weird little trick. Um, and I will show you that also right away. Because, yeah, like I said, this is, for me at the current moment, the best what you can get out of it. This is as far as possible that you can change the language settings uh, to a different language than, when, than the language that you bought it with or you installed it. it. Uh, installed with it um, but yeah I will show you so what you have to do is you go to you open a new um, f uh, window and you make I have a new keyboard so I have to check out which here local app data so you type this in I will show you the command later in the in the description. And then you come here. Then I thought you go to what was it again? Local app data. One second. I thought it was Microsoft. No, no, it was packages. That was it. So you go to packages, and you see a whole lot of packages. And then you have to go to what was it again? Windows. Ah, yeah, here. Immerse. Immersive control panel. You go to that one. And then uh, you have to go to the local state. It shows also this weird, yeah, well, this underscore under this whole weird sign. That's exactly how it's supposed to be. This is the same on almost every laptop. So once you're there, uh, go to your local state, then go to indexed, settings, and here you will see. Uh, a folder. Uh, in this case, it's it is uh, English and then uh, dash US. See how the first letters are lowercase and the the last two letters are uh, uppercase. Well, the fun thing is, actually, I don't know why, but <laughs> this is a weird fix. It actually said in the beginning uh, the Dutch one, so it it showed me like this. Yeah, so this was this was what it was before, and then I just changed those letters actually to uh, what you just saw to this. I pushed enter, and from that point on, I could click my uh, search results. Because in the beginning, if I typed in user and I saw gebruikers accounts, I was like, all right, it's the Dutch version, but it's okay. I know what it means. It, that's what I need. But I couldn't click it. I couldn't push it. I couldn't open uh, the settings. There was no way I could do it. And uh, there was uh, actually I found it already on several laptops or Windows computers in the past. Uh, 
and I never un- understood why. So that's why it took some time to I still actually don't understand why, but I know now the solution how to fix this. So yeah, uh, after you do that um, and you change it to the language that you have set it on. So in this case, for me, it's English and then the US, but in Dutch, it will be just uh, NL and L. Um, so yeah, if once you have done that, uh, then actually almost everything should be uh, fixed again. Except for the, the annoying part that the search index is not working really well. And there are different kind of solutions for it. Um, if you want to be real sure about everything, you can always do this. And you type in LP. And here you can see which languages are actually installed at your computer. So if you have changed everything, you can even uninstall the language just to be sure that it's not left at some places or whatsoever. Um, I do recommend before that you're going to start uh, changing all this kind of stuff, you of course take a backup of all your important data and maybe even make a restore point because that way you can always uh, revert back if something is not how you wanted to have it or uh, yeah, how you expect it to do. If you can, of course, reinstall it with the with the language that you prefer, that is a lot a lot easier than the, the method that I showed na- now. But yeah, if you already installed all of your applications and whatsoever, maybe this is a better idea. So yeah, this is, uh, this is it for it now. Um, like I said, the only way to to change those results, results apparently according to Microsoft is by installing an, uh, an update. But yeah, if you have one of the latest versions like I have, then you're a little bit kind of screwed. So yeah. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. Sorry uh, <laughs> that I'm not a native uh, English speaker. Do my best though. And um, yeah, 